we're going to work through this example before us. The fat and energy content of 17 different foods were measured and the resulting least squared regression line equation was this right here. So here it is. What we need to do is interpret the slope and the y-intercept. The first thing that we are going to do here is identify the explanatory and the response variable. So we know that this one right here is going to be the response variable. So you can think about it as our y. And then the fat here is going to be my explanatory variable. So we can think of it as our x. Then we have to figure out what the gradient is going to be. The gradient is going to be the one that is in being multiplied by the explanatory variable. So this is the gradient. Also, remember, slope is another word you'll see, and this refers to it as a slope. You can also think of this as the B value. And then we have this, the A value, which is the Y intercept. So it's important that you can identify all those key features, because now we're going to have to interpret them. So we're going to begin by interpreting the slope. And just like a good chef, here is one I have prepared earlier. So all I've done is I've highlighted in uh, yellow the parts of the template that I filled in. So on average, boop, ba -doop, buy, boop, ba -doop, for every boop, ba -doop. So you just need to fill in those gaps. So just use those templates effectively. So you can see here, on average, the response variable, so energy, increases. How do I know it's increasing? I know that it's increasing because I have a positive in front of, or a plus sign, a positive value in front of the gradient. That's telling me that this thing is increasing because I've got a positive gradient. By the gradient itself. So it's increasing by 41.88 kilojoules for every extra gram of fat. So that's what you have to write. You have to be able to identify some key things. And one of those key things is that this, this plus here in front of the gradient is telling me that this thing is increasing. So it's got a gradient that goes like that. It's got a gradient going up. Then we have to talk about the y-intercept. So let's bring this open. Wait for it. There it is. On average, when the fat is zero, the energy is 83.57 kilojoules. This is valid. So remember, your y-intercept is occurring when your x is zero. So in this case, your explanatory variable is zero. That means you have zero fat. It is possible to have a food which contains no fat. And one of these foods could contain no fat. And in that case, it would be 83.57. So on average, when the fat is zero, the energy is what the y-intercept is. And also make sure you add in the statement, this is valid, because this is a valid scenario. There, there is a, you can have something which contains uh, zero fat. But let's be honest, that probably doesn't taste great, does it? Okay, hopefully you've got this all down. I'll see you in the next part.